Welcome back to Your Real Estate Voice with Barb Schlinker, the weekly radio show that informs and educates you on how to buy or sell real estate. And it does it with the host of the program, Barb Schlinker, the owner of Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty. Barb, we're going to talk about how you get money and when you're selling. Barb, we're going to be talking about where do you get more money, selling to a cash buyer or to a traditional buyer? You know, Richard, I get that question an awful lot. Um, There was a time when the market was booming that the investor buyers were actually paying more money than the live in the home buyer. And it was cash. It was the easy button. And they backed off when the rates came, got pretty high, but they're starting to get back in the game again. It's, It's really interesting to see what's going on. And they own a lot of real estate now. I know one company, I don't know if they're associated with BlackRock or not, but they started They started in 2014 that I know of buying homes in this market. And they would buy between 500 and 700 homes a year. So by five years, that's a lot of houses. And mostly they were keeping them to rent out. They weren't interested in flipping them like some of the other investors. So that's part of why they were paying top dollar is that there's leverage in getting people to pay rent on the property. Interesting. Um, But here's the thing. A lot of people have a lot of fear about the home selling process for many logical reasons. Like if you have to let your home go vacant, there's the risk of squatters. Look at this picture, Richard. I don't know if you can see it, but We have a client right now called us from Florida that has a property out east on 40 acres. She hasn't been there in five years. She says it was empty. There was stuff in there. The water was not on. The electricity was on. And we found these very happy marijuana plants. (laughs) Gosh. Oh, so I wish I could say I'm surprised, Barb, but there is so much of that going around. And I think a lot of these people, they'll see it on social media, Instagram or whatever. And it's like, gosh, if it works there, why don't we try it here? Yeah. So now we have a problem. She's not coming here from Florida. We got to figure out if the house is occupied or not. Right. And I don't know. I, I don't know. So I have a plan in my mind uh, since the utilities are on. I'm going to ask the seller to actually make sure the utilities are in her name. Um, And then maybe my idea is just to put some internet access cameras up there and see if anybody comes and goes for a while before we get rid of all that stuff. It's hard to say. I, I don't know. We can't get in the garage. It's probably full of marijuana plants as well. But it was just weird that who would live there if there was no water? It's one thing for electricity, but no water. And how did those marijuana plants get so green? <laughs> we don't know. But um, that kind of thing can happen if you let a home go empty. Now, around here in the in the more uh, traditional neighborhoods, people do, the neighbors do pay attention and they look out for you. And that's one of the things I love about this area. But um, if you have to have a home go vacant, I would say it would, be, it would be best to make it not look like it's vacant. So part of what we do is uh, either digital or in-person staging on our listings to make them look occupied. Now, our local MLS mandates that we also put the pictures of the empty rooms, which I don't agree with. I think it's a security issue. And I did finally find a way around it. <laughs> and so anyway, that's the kind of stuff that we have to protect you from the crazies. We can still market to all the buyers. We just have to do it a different way. So the first question is how sellable is a, is a home? Does it need repairs? Does it need updates? Maybe you have some, I was in a house last night where the inside was really pretty. It had almost everything done, even furnace, water heater, a um, lot of pretty finishes, a little bit of peeling paint on the outside, but that's an easy fix. So the question is, are you going to sell your home to a cash investor that might pay 10, 20% below the market value just because of a few cosmetic repairs? To me, it doesn't make sense, but there are some people that will do that just to avoid the craziness and the uncertainty of not knowing when somebody gets a contract on their house that is actually gonna go through. 
Um, sale contingencies are a problem. So having a cash offer in your back pocket, especially if you're buying new construction, can be the solution for you. Now, you might have to give up a little bit of equity on that, or maybe not. Some of our cash offers are actually, um, you end up getting full market value for the home. Uh, it's a two-step sale process, but that is something that if you're interested in talking to us about it, we do provide certainty and we try to make the sales process as easy and simple and systemized as possible because nobody likes surprises. Um, when you're moving, people are pretty stressed out as it is, right? They're moving. They've just had their whole world turned upside down. So anything can tip them off to being just, oh my God, I'm so upset about little stuff. You know, does that make sense, Richard? It does. I mean, there are certain things that are stressful. They always say changing jobs or right. losing someone in your family, but moving, whether it's just moving regularly, but when you have a house involved, that's very stressful. Yeah. But we start with finding out what your goals are. What are your goals? What is it that you need? What are your plans? What is the target of the next home that you're going to buy? All those things factor into our discussion. And that way we can give you the right tools to handle the situation. With a cash offer, the good thing about those is they provide a lot of certainty of exactly when you're going to close, exactly how much you're going to put in your pocket. And you don't have to worry about the buyer qualifying for the loan. The last two closings that I had, um, in both cases, the buyers went sideways on their qualification. One of them is because they didn't want to sell the, the house that they currently own. So they had to add daddy to the loan. And then the second one right after that was similar situation, except for this guy didn't pay his uh, IRS taxes, which you can't get by with that. <laughs> if you're not paying your taxes, you can't buy a house unless you're on a payment plan and you qualify for the payment plan. So there's a lot of rules about that. And that's part of why you need a professional to help you through this process. Selling a home is not the same as um, buying or selling a car. It's a lot more complicated. It's a much bigger investment. And we have people that have been in the industry for years and years to help you through the process. My name is Barb Schlinker. I'm the broker owner of Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty. And Barb has the buyer's team. I'm also the host of the show, Your Real Estate Voice. And we're talking about whether or not you would get more with either a traditional home seller or a cash buyer. We actually have over 65 high net worth cash buyers. And what we do is we take your house, we put it in our investor buy box and they bid on it from there. We can get them to compete with each other for your home, which I don't know anybody else that offers that, that's for sure. So if you wanna to talk to us about making your home, uh, making your transition to your next home, that's what we're experts at. Give us a call at 719-301-3900 or go to barbhasthebuyers.com. And, and, you know, typically just on our database of buyers, we can match a hundred buyers that have already put into our website criteria that indicates they want a home just like yours. But we have all kinds of options. So just call us 719-301-3900 or visit barbhasthebuyers.com. Richard? We're talking about how do home sellers get more money? Is it by selling to a cash buyer or to a traditional buyer? A little bit of guidance from Barb Schlinker, the host of the program, Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty. Walk us through this a little bit more. Well, um, the reason why people like the cash offer program is first of all, you don't have to have an appraisal. If they're paying cash, Appraisals are just for lenders, but if a buyer's paying cash is what the buyer agreed to pay, there's no discussion on that. Typically, you can close on your timeline. It gives you peace of mind and certainty that your home is sold. You have to do minimal or, in fact, many times no repairs, and it's often an optimal resolution for certain life situations. A um, little bit of negotiations, light paperwork, pretty simple process, but it still does take anywhere from two to four weeks to get to the finish line on a cash deal. Um, so the traditional sale, though, there are a bunch of steps to the process. So the steps include, you know, preparing your home for sale, 
getting pictures ready. We have all kinds of a whole checklist on how to get your home uh, ready for sale, how to deal with the sales process so that you can go to the finish line with certainty and know that your home is sold. And that's what we have people that help us do it. We have systems in place where you're getting videos and pictures all along the way about what's happening with your home, what where you are in the process. Uh, I, I had one buyer say to me the other day, because I, I haven't done this in 35 years and I have to remind myself, oh yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, all right. These are the next steps. So we try to always keep you in tune with what the next steps are. And we built out different videos and different processes to make sure every step of the way, you know what's going on. There could be things that go wrong. That's human nature that stuff happens, right? But at least you know where you are and there are no major surprises. Um, and we're paying attention. So um, uh, let me give you an example. Recently on a sale, uh, we went under contract with a buyer. I was helping the seller and we went through two inspections because the first inspection on behalf of the buyer's agent was essentially just a party. <laughs> she scheduled the inspection. I represented the seller at the inspection. And I thought there was going to be an inspector that was checking the systems and all that. Nope, nope. It was uh, the buyers, their three little kids, their parents, their parents' friends, their contractor, and a roofer. That was it. And then a couple of days later, she goes, okay, I want to schedule an inspection. I'm like, you just had an inspection. And she goes, well, I, I can do any kind of inspection I want. I'm like, well, why did we schedule an inspection? I said, you didn't inspect during that time. In fact, you had a party, not an inspection. Well, I'm entitled to inspect any way I want. <laughs> so she thought it was okay, but it was it was a little disruptive. The sellers weren't expecting it. And it, in their mind, put the deal in doubt. And that's why cash offers sometimes are very interesting to home sellers. The other thing that this agent did and her transaction coordinator. So this is a new thing in real estate where these agents will hire these people to track the dates and deadlines and the, the tasks that are required through the sales process. They pay them extra to do that, but neither one of them tracked the appraisal deadline. In fact, they missed it by 11 days and then came back to the seller and said, well, we don't have an appraisal yet. We want an extension. And I'm like, come on, you guys, really? You paid somebody to do it and they weren't even paying attention to that? You put those dates in there, not me. So the craziness takes place in every transaction. And those are the kind of things for home sellers that kind of get sellers a little nervous that it may not be certain. It did close on time without any hiccups, but it's just one of those things that um, that's why some, some, some home sellers that have had the experience before don't want to deal with some of the craziness and uncertainness through the whole process and just deal with the easy button cash buyer. And we have both options. So give us a call at 719-301-3900 or go to barbhasthebuyers.com. Richard? You're listening to Your Real Estate Voice with Barb Schlinker. She is the voice and she's also the host of the program and the proprietor and owner of Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty. And if you are thinking of making a move, Call Barb at 719-301-3900 or visit barbhasthebuyers.com. We'll take a short break. When we come back, we'll be talking about pricing your home to command top dollar plus Barb's hot new listings. You don't want to miss any of that. 